haunted local police for more than a decade. This morning, for the first time, they're releasing new details about its possible connection with one of the craziest prison breaks in U.S. history. Here's my investigation of the nurse who disappeared in the desert. They were the focus of a nationwide manhunt. And she just disappeared off the face of the earth. The seven broke out of the South Texas prison. Maybe we have a link between at least two of the Texas Seven related to the disappearance of Carmen Gonzalez. The saga of the Texas Seven continues. That couldn't be more true for Santa Fe police detectives for the first time in 16 years. Yes, this is the uh, missing persons flyer we put out. Detective Tony uh, Trujillo is talking about the possible connection of a traveling nurse who disappeared in Santa Fe and the infamous Texas Seven, convicted murderers, rapists, and a child abuser who pulled off the elaborate, almost movie-like escape from the maximum security J.B. Connolly Prison, the biggest prison break in Texas history. Could the violent criminals know where Carmen Gonzalez is? Her family hopes for answers soon. Have we missed her? her? very much that her parents are still alive. December 31st, 2000, Carmen would check into this Santa Fe motel. Come check out, something bizarre was discovered. Inside Carmen's motel room, everything she was traveling with, end tables stacked on one another, her clothing, her purse. Even to the point where her contact lenses were still on a, on a counter. Carmen gone, and so was that rented van. Okay, Days later, place. detectives find the van. Police file video shows it's broken down in several feet of snow, only blankets found inside in a remote area of Santa Fe County. You have no trace that a crime has been committed, correct? Nothing at all. So no blood, no body, no crime? We, we did suspect foul play. And the case was about to get a whole lot stranger. On the same day of Carmen's disappearance, a woman called police saying she saw two of the Texas 7 eating at the restaurant right behind me. A woman who was eating at this restaurant uh, was watching a newscast of the Texas 7 and noticed that two of the Texas 7 were almost right next to her at the next table. Days later, another woman calls police, that this time about the missing nurse, saying she saw her looking scared in the van, just like the one Carmen rented, and she saw two men with her. Police showed the woman pictures of the Texas 7. One of them was positively identified as Larry Harper. The other, Michael Rodriguez. Weeks later, the law catches up with the fugitives in Colorado. Six are recaptured. Harper commits suicide. He case. definitely was the one link we would need to uh, to solve the case. Case closed? Not exactly. For the next few years, detectives sent cadaver dogs to the mountains, keep tabs on Carmen's bank accounts, and try to find out if any of the escapees ever stopped in New Mexico. At least one Colorado man believed so back then. Bodie says the men were calling from Santa Fe last week. They told him they were stuck in a snowstorm. So Detective Trujillo hopped on a plane to sit down with each inmate still alive, but on death row, including the ringleader of the prison break. Mr. Trujillo, how are you doing? It's involving the disappearance of a woman uh, back in 2001. Each one said they knew nothing about the vanished nurse, but just before Joseph Garcia was set to be executed, he called detectives. Are we dealing with a murder case here? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes. Garcia wouldn't say any more. Could Carmen's disappearance and the sightings of the escapees be a coincidence? Detectives aren't giving up in finding the Puerto Rican woman who once dreamed of becoming a military nurse and moved to New Mexico to care for others. We can know that what happened really, good or bad. It's important to close the chapter. So according to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice website, Garcia has yet to be executed and remains on death row today. Santa Fe detectives say he has not called them back. Carmen's family is from Puerto Rico and say living so far away in the language barrier has made this difficult. If you know anything about Carmen's disappearance, you're asked to call Santa Fe police.